Corners, how to play. The object of the game is to score the most points by having the players work with the addition facts that add up to 5, 10, 15, and 20. Shuffle the deck, then deal four cards face up to each player. Players keep their cards face up in front of them while the rest of the deck is placed face down to the side as a draw deck. Give each player paper and pencil for keeping their score. The player with the card that has the lowest green number goes first and places that card in the center of the table. If there is a tie, then of the tied cards, the one with the lowest blue number is placed first. Whoever places the first card draws a new card from the deck and play proceeds clockwise. On your turn, you must play one of your cards adjacent to the last card played or to a corner, if possible. To make a play, you must match the colors of the numbers on each card's side so that the sum is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20, or that the numbers form an identical matching pair, rotating the card as needed. A corner is a space that your card could fit by joining its edges with two or more other cards. All colors on all the sides of a corner must match, and all sides must either equal the sum of 5, 10, 15, or 20, or be a matching pair. You may play to any corner, even if it isn't part of the last played card. You may not play a card at a diagonal space from the last card played, even if it follows all the correct matching rules for one of its sides. After playing your card, if the sum of the matching colors equals 5, 10, 15, or 20, then you score that many points for each match and write it down on your score sheet. When scoring, each player records their own score by mentally adding the new points to their existing score and writing down the new total. Don't write down each individual score before calculating, just write the new total score. If you match a pair of colored numbers that do not equal 5, 10, 15, or 20, then you do not score any points for that match. Free hanging 5s and 10s, not part of a sum, also do not score points because they are not part of a sum. After playing a card, draw a new one from the top of the deck and end your turn and the next player clockwise goes. If you are unable to play, then your turn is skipped without playing or drawing. Repeat this process until all the cards in the deck have been played or when no player can play a card. Then the game ends and the player with the most points wins.